An electric field, sometimes abbreviated as E field, is a vector field surrounding an electric charge that exerts force on other charges, attracting or repelling them. Mathematically, the electric field is a vector field that associates to each point in space the force, called the Coulomb force, that would be experienced per unit of charge by an infinitesimal test charge at that point. The units of the electric field in the SI system are newtons per coulomb n, c, or volts per meter, v per meter. Electric fields are created by electric charges, or by time-varying magnetic fields. Electric fields are important in many areas of physics, and are exploited practically in electrical technology. On an atomic scale, the electric field is responsible for the attractive force between the atomic nucleus and electrons that holds atoms together, and the forces between atoms that cause chemical bonding. Electric fields and magnetic fields are both manifestations of the electromagnetic force, one of the four fundamental forces or interactions of nature. Topic. Definition From Coulomb's law a particle with electric charge Q 1 Q underscore 1 at position X 1 display style bold symbol X underscore 1 exerts a force on a particle with charge Q 0 Display style Q underscore zero at position X zero display style bold symbol X underscore zero of F equals one four pi epsilon zero Q one Q zero X one minus x zero two R carrot one zero Display style bold symbol F equals one over four pi var epsilon underscore zero q underscore one q underscore zero over bold symbol x underscore one bold symbol x underscore zero carrot two hat bold symbol R underscore one zero where R one zero Display style bold symbol R underscore one zero is the unit vector in the direction from point x 1 display style bold symbol x underscore 1 to point x 0 display style bold symbol x underscore 0 and epsilon 0 is the electric constant also known as the absolute permittivity of free space in C two M minus two N minus one when the charges Q zero display style Q underscore zero and Q one display style Q underscore one have the same sign this force is positive, directed away from the other charge, indicating the particles repel each other. When the charges have unlike signs the force is negative, indicating the particles attract. To make it easy to calculate the Coulomb force on any charge at position x 0 this expression can be divided by q 0 Leaving an expression that only depends on the other charge, the source charge E x zero equals F Q zero equals one four pi epsilon zero Q one x one minus x 0 2 r caret 1 0 
Display style bold symbol E bold symbol X underscore zero equals bold symbol F over Q underscore zero equals one over four pi var epsilon underscore zero Q underscore one over bold symbol X underscore one bold symbol X underscore zero carrot two hat bold symbol R underscore one zero This is the electric field at point X zero Display style bold symbol x underscore zero due to the point charge q one display style q underscore one it is a vector equal to the Coulomb force per unit charge that a positive point charge would experience at the position x zero display style bold symbol x underscore zero since this formula gives the electric field magnitude and direction at any point x 0 display style bold symbol x underscore 0 in space except at the location of the charge itself x 1 display style bold symbol x underscore 1 where it becomes infinite it defines a vector field from the above formula it can be seen that the electric field due to a point charge is everywhere directed away from the charge if it is positive, and toward the charge if it is negative, and its magnitude decreases with the inverse square of the distance from the charge. If there are multiple charges, the resultant Coulomb force on a charge can be found by summing the vectors of the forces due to each charge. This shows the electric field obeys the superposition principle. The total electric field at a point due to a collection of charges is just equal to the vector sum of the electric fields at that point due to the individual charges. E x equals E one x plus E two x plus E three x plus equals one four pi epsilon zero q one x one minus x two r carrot one plus one four pi epsilon zero q two x two minus x two r carrot two plus one four pi epsilon zero q Three x three minus x two R carrot three plus Display style bold symbol E bold symbol x equals bold symbol E underscore one bold symbol x plus bold symbol E underscore two bold symbol x plus bold symbol E underscore three bold symbol x plus C D O T S equals one over four pi var epsilon underscore zero q underscore one over bold symbol x underscore one bold symbol x carrot two hat bold symbol R underscore one plus one over 4 pi var epsilon underscore 0 q underscore 2 over bold symbol x underscore 2 bold symbol x caret 2 hat bold symbol r underscore 2 plus 1 over 4 pi var epsilon underscore 0 q underscore 3 over bold symbol x underscore 3 bold symbol x caret 2 hat bold symbol r underscore 3 plus c d o t s e x equals 1 4 pi epsilon 0 k equals 1 n q k x k minus x 2 r caret k 
Display style bold symbol e bold symbol x equals one over four pi var epsilon underscore zero sum underscore k equals one caret n q underscore k over bold symbol x underscore k bold symbol x caret two hat bold symbol r underscore k where r caret k display style bold symbol hat r underscore k is the unit vector in the direction from point x k display style bold symbol x underscore k to point x display style bold symbol x this is the definition of the electric field due to the point source charges q 1 q n Display style q underscore one l dots q underscore n. It diverges and becomes infinite at the locations of the charges themselves, and so is not defined there. The Coulomb force on a charge of magnitude q display style q at any point in space is equal to the product of the charge and the electric field at that point. F equals q E display style bold symbol F equals Q bold symbol E. The units of the electric field in the SI system are newtons per coulomb n c or volts per meter v per meter. In terms of the SI base units, they are kilogram m s minus three a minus one. The electric field due to a continuous distribution of charge rho x display style rho bold symbol x in space where rho display style rho is the charge density in coulombs per cubic meter can be calculated by considering the charge rho x d v display style rho bold symbol x dv in each small volume of space d v display style dv at point x display style bold symbol x as a point charge and calculating its electric field d e x display style d bold symbol e bold symbol x at point x display style bold symbol x d e x equals 1 4 pi epsilon 0 rho x d v x minus x 2 r caret Display style d bold symbol e bold symbol x equals one over four pi var epsilon underscore zero rho bold symbol x d v over bold symbol x bold symbol x caret two hat bold symbol r, where r caret display style hat bold symbol r is the unit vector pointing from x. Display style bold symbol x to x display style bold symbol x, then adding up the contributions from all the increments of volume by integrating over the volume of the charge distribution v display style v e x equals one four pi epsilon Zero V Rho X D V X minus X two R carrot Display style bold symbol E bold symbol X equals one over four pi var epsilon underscore zero I I I N T limits underscore V rho bold symbol X D V over bold symbol X bold symbol X carrot two hat bold symbol R Topic Sources
Topic: <laughs> Causes and description. Electric fields are caused by electric charges, described by Gauss's law, or varying magnetic fields, described by Faraday's law of induction. Together, these laws are enough to define the behavior of the electric field as a function of charge repartition and magnetic field. However, since the magnetic field is described as a function of electric field, the equations of both fields are coupled and together form Maxwell's equations that describe both fields as a function of charges and currents. In the special case of a steady state stationary charges and currents, the Maxwell-Faraday inductive effect disappears. The resulting two equations Gauss's law E equals rho epsilon 0 display style nabla c d o t math b f e equals frac rho var epsilon underscore 0 and faraday's law with no induction term times e equals 0 display style nabla times math b f e equals 0 taken together are equivalent to coulomb's law written as e R equals one four pi epsilon zero rho R R minus R R minus R three D three R Display style bold symbol e bold symbol r equals one over four pi var epsilon underscore zero int row bold symbol r bold symbol r bold symbol r over bold symbol r bold symbol r caret three d caret three r for a charge density row r display style math bf row math bf r r Display style math bf r denotes the position in space. Notice that epsilon zero display style var epsilon underscore zero. The permittivity of vacuum must be substituted if charges are considered in non-empty media. Topic: Continuous versus discrete charge representation. The equations of electromagnetism are best described in a continuous description. However, charges are sometimes best described as discrete points, for example, some models may describe electrons as point sources where charge density is infinite on an infinitesimal section of space. A charge Q located at R 0 Display style math bf r underscore zero can be described mathematically as a charge density rho r equals q delta r minus r zero display style rho math bf r equals q delta math bf r r underscore zero where the Dirac delta function in three dimensions is used. Conversely, a charge distribution can be approximated by many small point charges. Topic: <laughs> Superposition principle. Electric fields satisfy the superposition principle because Maxwell's equations are linear. As a result, if E one display style math bf e underscore one and e two display style math bf e underscore two are the electric fields resulting from distribution of charges rho one display style rho underscore one and rho two Display style row underscore two. A distribution of charges row one plus row two. 
Display style row underscore one plus row underscore two will create an electric field E one plus E two Display style Math BF E underscore one plus Math BF E underscore two For instance, Coulomb's law is linear in charge density as well. This principle is useful to calculate the field created by multiple point charges. If charges Q one Q two Q N Display style q underscore one q underscore two q underscore n are stationary in space at r one r two r n display style math bf r underscore one math bf r underscore two math bf r underscore n in the absence of currents, the superposition principle proves that the resulting field is the sum of fields generated by each particle as described by Coulomb's law. E R equals I equals 1 N E I R equals 1 4 pi Epsilon zero I equals one N Q I R minus R I R minus R I three Display style math BF E math BF R equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N math BF E underscore I math BF R equals FRAC one four pi var epsilon underscore zero sum underscore I equals one carrot N Q underscore I FRAC math BF R math BF R underscore I math BF R math BF R underscore I carrot three Topic: Electrostatic fields. Electrostatic fields are electric fields which do not change with time, which happens when charges and currents are stationary. In that case, Coulomb's law fully describes the field. Topic: <inaudible> Electric potential. If a system is static, such that magnetic fields are not time-varying, then by Faraday's law, the electric field is curl-free. In this case, one can define an electric potential, that is, a function phi such that E equals minus phi math BF E equals nabla phi this is analogous to the gravitational potential. Topic: <laughs> Parallels between electrostatic and gravitational fields. Coulomb's law, which describes the interaction of electric charges, F equals Q Q four pi epsilon. Zero R carrot R two equals Q E Display style Math BF F equals Q left FRAC Q four Pi var epsilon underscore zero FRAC Math BF hat R Math BF R carrot two right equals Q Math BF E is similar to Newton's law of universal gravitation. F equals m minus g m r caret r two equals m g. 
Display style Math BF equals M left GM FRAC Math BF hat R Math BF R carrot two right equals M Math BF G where R carrot equals R R Display style Math BF hat R equals Math BF FRAC R R this suggests similarities between the electric field E and the gravitational field G, or their associated potentials. Mass is sometimes called gravitational charge. Because of that similarity, electrostatic and gravitational forces both are central, conservative, and obey an inverse square law. Topic: <laughs> Uniform fields. A uniform field is one in which the electric field is constant at every point. It can be approximated by placing two conducting plates parallel to each other and maintaining a voltage potential difference between them. It is only an approximation because of boundary effects near the edge of the planes. Electric field is distorted because the plane does not continue. Assuming infinite planes, the magnitude of the electric field E is E equals Minus delta phi d display style e equals frac delta phi d, where d is the potential difference between the plates and d is the distance separating the plates. The negative sign arises as positive charges repel, so a positive charge will experience a force away from the positively charged plate in the opposite direction to that in which the voltage increases. In micro and nano applications, for instance in relation to semiconductors, a typical magnitude of an electric field is in the order of 106 volts m-1, achieved by applying a voltage of the order of 1 volt between conductors spaced 1 micrometer apart. <laughs> <laughs> Electrodynamic fields Electrodynamic fields are electric fields which do change with time, for instance when charges are in motion. The electric field cannot be described independently of the magnetic field in that case. If A is the magnetic vector potential, defined so that B equals times O display style math BF B equals nabla times math BF A one can still define an electric potential phi display style phi such that e equals minus phi minus a t display style math bf e equals nabla phi frac partial math bf a partial t one can recover Faraday's law of induction by taking the curl of that equation times E equals minus times a T equals minus B T Display style nabla times math bf e equals frac partial nabla times math bf a partial t equals frac partial math bf b partial t, which justifies a posteriori the previous form for e. Topic: Energy in the electric field. The total energy per unit volume stored by the electromagnetic field is U E M equals Epsilon two E two plus one two mu B two Display style u underscore m equals frac var epsilon two math bf e caret two plus frac one two mu math bf b caret two, where epsilon is the permittivity of the medium in which the field exists. Mu display style mu 
its magnetic permeability, and E and B are the electric and magnetic field vectors. As E and B fields are coupled, it would be misleading to split this expression into electric and magnetic contributions. However, in the steady state case, the fields are no longer coupled. See Maxwell's equations. It makes sense in that case to compute the electrostatic energy per unit volume. U E S equals one two epsilon E two Display style U underscore S equals FRAC one two var epsilon Math BF E carrot two the total energy U stored in the electric field in a given volume 5 is therefore U E S equals 1 2 epsilon V E 2 D V Display style u underscore s equals frac 1 2 var epsilon int underscore v math bf e caret 2 mathrm d v. Topic: Further extensions. Topic: Definitive equation of vector fields. In the presence of matter, it is helpful to extend the notion of the electric field into three vector fields d equals epsilon 0 e plus p display style math bf d equals var epsilon underscore 0 math bf e plus math bf p where P is the electric polarization, the volume density of electric dipole moments, and D is the electric displacement field. Since E and P are defined separately, this equation can be used to define D. The physical interpretation of D is not as clear as E effectively the field applied to the material or P induced field due to the dipoles in the material, but still serves as a convenient mathematical simplification, since Maxwell's equations can be simplified in terms of free charges and currents. Topic. Constitutive relation. The E and D fields are related by the permittivity of the material, epsilon, for linear, homogeneous, isotropic materials E and D are proportional and constant throughout the region, there is no position dependence, for inhomogeneous materials, there is a position dependence throughout the material D R equals epsilon E R Display style math bf d r equals var epsilon math bf e r. For anisotropic materials, the E and D fields are not parallel, and so E and D are related by the permittivity tensor, a second-order tensor field, in component form. D i equals epsilon i j e j. Display style d underscore i equals var epsilon underscore i j e underscore j. For nonlinear media, e and d are not proportional. Materials can have varying extents of linearity, homogeneity, and isotropy. Topic. See also. Classical electromagnetism. Field strength. Signal strength in telecommunications Magnetism Teltron tube Teledeltos, a conductive paper that may be used as a simple analog computer for modeling fields. <laughs>